When it comes to picking a biome weapon from the dungeon in Terraria, the vampire knives have always been the centre of attention. This could be due to their unique life-stealing properties or just out of nostalgia to remind you of how good they used to be. Whatever the reasoning is, I see the vampire knives talked about more than any other biome chest weapon. Today, we're going to be shining a light on one other biome chest weapon in particular, which is the equivalent to the vampire knives for Corruption Wilds. Yes, I'm talking about the Scourge of the Corruptor. When utilised correctly, this weapon can be an absolute beast and easily carry you all the way up to the cultist, remaining powerful in a range of scenarios. Its unique firing style also makes it incredibly easy to use. Before we delve any further though, let's see how you obtain it. Like any biome weapon, it can be found in the corresponding biome chest in the dungeon, which requires a key to open. In this case, we need the corruption key. As this has a 1 in 2500 chance of dropping from nearly every enemy in the game, bearing that you're in the corruption biome, there's a few things we can do to speed up the time it'll take for one to drop. Farming it manually like this will take forever, so I'd recommend creating an underground farm like this, making sure that every tile the enemy will spawn on are made of ebonstone. You might need to add a few extra to make sure it passes the corruption biome threshold. Now you'll have an absolute ton of corruption enemies spawning on you, which although is great for drop chances, is an absolute nightmare to deal with even with dodging skills like this. Luckily, there's kind of a loophole we can work with to make this far safer. As the game doesn't look for the biome the enemy is spawning, as long as the player is in a corruption biome, the key will have a chance to drop. So simply place enough ebonstone to create a corruption biome, but leave the platforms out of some standard tile, like stone bricks. This will spawn much easier cavern enemies which can be killed far faster too. With this, it shouldn't take you very long at all before some corruption keys start to pop up. And if you want to find for any other keys, you can just simply swap out the tiles for say, ice, if you're looking for the frozen key. Anyway, I think it's time to look at the Scourge's performance. The Scourge of the Corruptor is a projectile based melee weapon that fires a fast moving homing eater bite. These little things split up into two to four tiny eaters upon impact with a solid block or enemy. These can also ricochet up to five times before dissipating. Firing this thing for an extended period of time pretty much makes your screen an unsufferable bullet hell for the enemy. Unfortunately, the eater's damage cannot be reflected using dummies, as the homing ignores them entirely, so let's give it a go instead on a large group of mummies. This thing cleans them up pretty quickly. As expected, the longer the fight went on for, the more damage I dealt, as there were a larger quantity of projectiles on the field. This can make for some pretty interesting fights. Against free biome mimics, for example, during their flying attack, they outspeed the projectiles which continue to be created with each hit. Soon enough, they'll all catch up and deal a massive chunk of damage all at once. The same behaviour can make it an incredible weapon against bosses, and if I'm honest, after testing dozens of weapons against Duke Fishron, I have to say the Scourge was by far the most easy and satisfying one I've had. Its long range homing functionality meant I could even make it hitless. What's great is, every impact you make is a hefty chunk of damage, and then you have the added projectiles which follow him around until catching up and dealing an additional chunk of damage. It's one of these weapons where the more you fire it, regardless of where you're aiming, you're probably going to hit the boss somehow. It would only be fair to also test it on a ground level boss too. Like Gollum, yes this is one of the easiest fights that can make any weapon look good, but I was still impressed nonetheless. It made the first stage go by super fast, and therefore would be quite a good weapon to farm Gollum drops with, as it behaves like a ranged weapon, but doesn't consume any ammo. After thoroughly using this weapon on a bunch of different scenarios, I have to say it's now one of my favourite post-Monterra melee weapons, I just don't get why nobody uses it. Could it be that the grind of getting that biome key is too much of a time investment for what you could be doing at that point in the game? As with everything between Pantera and the Cultist, it has a very short shelf life before it is replaced with a pillar or Moonlord weapon. What do you think? Is the Scourge of the Corruptor one of your favourite biome chest weapons, or would you rather stick with Team Red with the Vampire Knives? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. For more Terraria content like this, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.